guys, it's Emma, and today's video is going to be my skincare routine. Somehow in the past few months, my skin has cleared up completely. <laughs> Revamped it, got whole new products, and started paying attention to my skin. And as a reward, it thanked me by giving me clear skin. My skin is pretty much clear now. I don't really have any problems. I have a few pimple here and there. I know I'm not 100% done, and I'm hoping that making this video doesn't curse me to have bad skin for the next few weeks. But if you guys want to see my skincare routine, how I got my skin all clear, then just keep watching. So, like I said, I used to have a problem with my skin on my forehead. I'd get a ton of really small bumps, and now I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. And they wouldn't really come to pimple heads, so I couldn't really pop them. They just kind of always be there. The acne was still there, but it was less noticeable when I wore makeup. I never left the house without wearing some kind of skin makeup because I hated it hated my skin. I would feel like whenever I had bad skin and I put foundation on, I'd feel like a cake face. Even though foundation is totally fine and I wear it now normally, I just feel like by wearing foundation I feel like I was obligated to wear other makeup to complement it. Otherwise you're walking around with the even skin tone and you're looking kind of flat because nothing else is on it. So I'd feel like I'd have to wear makeup every single day and makeup became kind of a drag for me. I got into a rut where I literally hated it because it was something that I had to do. It wasn't really fun anymore. But to fix that, I started paying attention to my skin and it is clear now. So I'm first going to start with cleansers and then moisturizers and then toners and blah blah blah, serums, everything, everything, everything. So we're just going to get started. So the number one brand that saved my skin was Glossier. So I have something really exciting to announce by the way. I am becoming a Glossier brand representative and I am so so excited because I actually ordered these products before I was sent any. It was kind of a last resort because I was like, I was at my wits end with my skin and I ordered a few Glossier products just to kind of like boost my skin, maybe this will actually work. I read a lot of tutorials and reviews and when I got this, it literally transformed my skin and I know people say this as sponsored but I have never seen a transformation like I used to be to now for skin change that happened so in such a short amount of time, like so suddenly. So to start off my skincare routine is this Holy Grail product from Glossier and that is the Milk Jelly Cleanser. I use this every night right before I go to bed. I already use a makeup remover and then I use this to kind of wash my skin and prep it to go to bed and it moisturizes my skin, makes it feel amazing and it helped in removing my acne so this is a definite gentle cleanser. Another good thing about Glossier is they show you all of what's in their products so you can double check because I have super sensitive skin. I react and get red to a lot of different things and this was perfect for my skin and I love this. Before I used the cleanser, or just as a general thing, I used the Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil to get my makeup off. This is a holy grail product when it comes to eye makeup. Oh my gosh, when you're washing your face and like your mascara starts to clump up and like get all droopy and your eyelashes feel so heavy, this is an amazing product. I'm literally almost out of it as you can see. Um, it is kind of expensive because it's a higher end product, but it is so, so worth it. I love this to get my makeup off and also on my forehead for any foundation that I have on. Perfect. So the first thing that I do after I wash my face is I use this Cosmetic Clarity Serum. This stuff is amazing. This was sent to me through Octoly and hands down this is my favorite skin product that I've ever used. It smells kind of like a toner so I did, there's definitely witch hazel in here and tea tree oil and salicylic acid and I put it on my forehead and my cheeks and my chin and much my t-zone and I use this at night and it is so amazing if anybody's having any skin problems I would 10,000% recommend this so hard I'm about halfway through it and I'm gonna have to buy a couple more because like I said I got it from Octoly so it was sent to me for free but I will continue to purchase this product because it is literally godsend godsend so this is a serum technically although it works more like a toner and it kind of attacks my acne after I shower and I put it more on my forehead and my cheeks and then it dries that out and then to prep my skin and moisturize it after I use a toner I use my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. 
This stuff is also really awesome because it's a lightweight moisturizer, so you can use it in the morning or before bed. I prefer to use a lightweight moisturizer before I go to bed because when I use a really heavy one and then I go to bed, I feel like I feel like the oil builds up on my skin and then when you wake up and you feel kind of greasy. This one dries and gives you like a flat surface to work with in the afternoon. It's also great in the morning after you wake up because it also primes and preps your skin for foundation. If I still have any outlying pimples that are just there and I need them to go away, I'll use benzoyl peroxide. This is literally the Up and Up Target brand. This isn't really a specific product that I love to use. I pretty much just use any sort of drying out little gel that I can use to attack any spots that I have. And after I use that, I go in with my Scuderm Ultimate Eye Cream. This stuff is amazing. I just put it underneath my eyes and not too close to the lash line because I have really sensitive skin again. But I use this under my eyes to kind of reduce the look of wrinkles. And I know I'm young, but you gotta start young to prevent it from when you're older. Also next from Scuderm, if I don't... I think it's Scuderm, 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 Scuderm. It sounds Icelandic. It's made in New York, so Scuderm. If I don't use the cosmetics serum, I use this serum. This one's more of a morning serum for me because it is a vitamin C power serum. It kind of wakes me up. It's in a really cute container. I like the shapes of these bottles. They're so cute. Um, so after I wake up and do all my other stuff, this goes on before I put on my moisturizer and it kind of preps my skin for the morning and wakes me up. It's one of my other favorite serums. Next couple things that I use are for my lips. So I finally found this. I've been looking for it so long. I finally found this at Ulta when I was waiting in line to check out and like the big towers that have like everything on it. It's mini. That's so much fun and you end up you get in the line with like $30 worth of stuff and you leave with like 80 because you end up buying so many little cute tiny things but I found this rosebud salve and I've been using this, I've had this for like two weeks and it's almost gone. I've been using this religiously, let me tell you, this is hands down the best lip balm I've ever used. One, it's pretty cheap, two, it's tinted light pink so it looks like a really pretty as a gloss and it smells like roses so you literally can't beat that, it's so so amazing, I'm going to use some right now as we speak and I'm literally almost gone so. If you guys are going to buy one thing from this video, buy rosebud salve, this is so good. I don't want to use Rosebud Salve, then I'll use the Glossier Cherry Balm.com. It's tinted red. The problem with this is that it has a flat top, so it's kind of awkward to put in your lips. I wish it had an applicator like the Rosebud Salve. That's also why I like the Rosebud Salve so much, because it has that angled applicator that's like so much fun to put on your lips. You can do it for like hours just because it's fun. This is moisturizing. It smells like cherries. It's tinted red. You can't go wrong. This is for like when I'm feeling a bit fancier, you know? My last product is literally shown in every single skincare routine ever, I'm pretty sure. But it's the Mara Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And I have a bit of a story about this. So when I first got it, I began spraying it on my face literally religiously because I love Summer McKean and I got this because of her. And I started breaking out because of it. Instead, I began spraying this on my beauty blender to blend out my foundation, and it's worked beautifully. My foundation now smells better because it smells like roses. My skin smells good. If you can't tell already, I definitely love rose scented things they're absolutely amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below your thoughts give us a like and do not forget to subscribe thank you guys so so much for 30,000 subscribers i cannot even believe that's how many subscribers i have now it seems crazy to me i'm still the same person that made videos for the 50 people that watched and if you're watching this then I love you and I'm so happy that you're here. Please stay tuned for more videos this week because now it is summer and I can make videos all the time. This Wednesday I have a super, super huge project happening. It's going to be the, probably the most epic video that I've ever made and I'm beyond excited to share it with you guys. So do not forget to subscribe for that action. It's coming out next week and I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye. Mwah. Stranded, reaching out. I call your name but you're not